Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to edit your landscape photos using Photoshop CC coming up. Hey, what's up guys and welcome into the channel where I help you improve your landscape photography through infield and post processing videos as well as gear reviews. So if you're into landscape photography at all, consider subscribing to this channel. Now I'm going to be taking you into my computer screen for this video because what I want to show you is how easy it is to edit on Photoshop for your landscape photos. And I know Photoshop gets this rap of being like overwhelming and kind of scary to start using, but I'm going to show you a really simple, easy and professional way to use tools in Photoshop to create professional results with your landscape photography. So taking you onto my screen right now, you see this beautiful waterfall shot that I got in Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Now we're gonna be using layers, adjustment layers, and masks, but you don't even need to know like really how to create a mask or create an adjustment layer through a lot of the tools and keyboard shortcuts. I'm gonna show you one quick button to click that's gonna give you access to all of this. So all you have to do is come down here to this little circle icon that's down at the bottom of your menu. Click this and what's gonna happen is it's gonna bring up a menu. Now, to know which one of these options that you want to use, just analyze your image. Look at it, see what needs to be done here. So I can see this and I know I want the brightness to be brought up, shadows to be brought up, and contrast and vibrance to be shown. So I know just out of that list, what of these options I need to select and choose from. So automatically I'm gonna select brightness and contrast first to bring up some of the brightness in my image. And I'm just gonna pull this up and I'm also gonna pull up my contrast. And if you see here, what I've done here is added a new layer just by clicking on this option adjustment layer in Photoshop that says, hey, I wanna brighten this up want to add some more contrast. It does all of the masking, the layering for you. So let's move on to the next one. What else do I want to do here? Well, I want to lift the shadows. So what I want to do for that is I'm going to go to my curves layer and curves is just going to set up a curve adjustment layer and down here on the histogram, it's superimposed above the histogram. I know my shadows and darks are down here, highlights and whites are up here. So all I'm going to do is click and drag up on the shadows and darks portion. And then to get my highlights back down, I'm gonna click and drag that back down. Now it kind of flattened the colors out a little bit in this image. So I know I wanna fix that going back, but this also fixed the problem of my shadows being a little bit too dark in this. So to fix my colors, I'm gonna come down here, add a new adjustment layer. So what I'm gonna to go to is vibrance and vibrance is gonna bring up my vibrance and saturation sliders within this adjustment layer. And I'm just gonna pull those up as well. These are really basic edits, things you can do in Lightroom, things you can do in Luminar, On One, whatever you're using to edit your images. I'm gonna add a lot of vibrance and saturation colors to this image, just make those really pop out. And now we have a lot more color in this photograph that we can use to create a professional look. So this image now looks pretty good. Like this is a result of a photograph that I would want out of my portfolio and to show people and to share with people. So one last thing that I wanna show you how to do using this and creating a more like dreamy moodiness to the image is I'm actually gonna create a new layer. So come down here to the bottom menu and select this little plus icon and that's gonna create a new layer for you. All I have to do to do this is select my brush tool. I can hit B on my keyboard or select the icon there. I'm gonna lower my opacity here to about two, maybe bump that up to maybe like five, six percent here. And I'm gonna hold down my Alt key, my Alter Option key, and I'm just gonna go through and select colors by clicking and dragging of what I want to paint in here. So since I'm on a new layer, this is only going to show up in this layer. So if I don't like what I did here, I can delete it, I can hit undo, whatever I wanna do there, and the rest is still intact. So what I'm gonna do is just paint a very light opacity 
into these leaves of a very light green and it just gives it this like airy moody look to it hold down alter option here select some of this moss out paint some nice moodiness over here maybe down on this rock down here too and there you go that's really all you need to do and i've created a really good professional look all I can do to see the before and after, I can select the top layer, hold down my shift key, and group these by right clicking, and I can go to group from layers, create group one, and now select the eye icon on and off, and you can see how much improvement we put into this image just by showing you the before and after. So Photoshop doesn't have to be scary. It doesn't have to be intimidating. Just by using simple adjustment layers and knowing what you want to adjust and fix within your photograph is gonna help you create professional looking images in Photoshop and get your foot in the door too. As a next step, I want you guys to watch this next video on how to edit with Photoshop using something called star trails. This is gonna help you with layering and image stacking as well. Really simple to do, looks complex, but it's really easy.